In this video, we are going to learn how to install ZAMP on Windows. ZAMP is a package which consists of Apache Web Server, MySQL Database Server, PHP Parser, as well as Perl Parser. Don't worry about the Perl, we're not going to be working with Perl, we're only interested in these three here. The first thing we need to do is to download the package. And to do it, you can either go to the download section or simply on the homepage. Uh, the website address, by the way, is apachefriends.org. On the homepage, you've got uh, three different versions for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X. We are interested in the v Windows version, so click on this button and download it to your downloads folder. I have already downloaded the, uh, the package earlier, so what I'm going to do is simply double-click to start the installation. First, we need to allow the program to make changes to the computer, so click on Yes button. This will start the installation. Before that, though, we are going to see this warning. Simply click OK, and that will open the setup for XAMPP. Uh, so next, we'll leave all these components checked as default. We click Next again. Then there's the installation folder. By default, it's going to be installed to C drive inside of the XAMPP folder. You can change it if you wish to, but I would recommend to keep it uh, as default. Then click Next. And next again, that will open uh, the ZAMP page. We can close the browser because we don't need this for now anymore. So let's click next. And now the installation starts. It's going to take a little while. So I'm going to pause it and get back to you once it's completed. So now the installation has completed. Leave the checkbox uh, checked because we want to start the panel now. So we click on the finish button and this will start the ZAMP console. Uh, we can start Apache Web Server. So if we click on the start uh, button and if we now open the web browser and type in the URL local host, it will take us to the splash page for ZAMP. Now I would like to show you where this specific URL local host points. As you can see, I've typed localhost, but it redirected us to localhost zamp and then splash.php. So if we open uh, the file browser, we navigate to our computer C drive, which is where we've installed obviously our zamp inside of the zamp folder. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different folders here. The one we are interested in is htdocs, which is the root of for the localhost basically. So if we open that file, the first thing that happens when we call localhost, uh, this specific index.php uh, file is called. We don't see extensions because I have them switched off. So you can't see the extension, but this is the PHP. As you can see, when I mouse over, it says that it's the type is PHP file. So the, the extension for this specific file is .php. Now this file redirects the request when we type in localhost redirects the request to the ZAMP folder and then calls this uh, default splash.php page. So if we scroll down, you'll see that there's a file called splash and it's also PHP file as you can see here at the bottom. So this is the page that is served once we type in the localhost. So the root for the web server is this htdocs directory. But we are now going to have a look at how to create a virtual host on Windows in order to have our customized domains for local development.